If the technician says it can be repaired, we repair it. If it's just old wear and tear and they cannot repair it, we replace it. All right, everyone, how's it going? Jason Walters here, and today on this video, we have with us Miranda Avalos with Home Guard Home Warranty. Now, me and Miranda have been working together for a long time, so I've been sending her a ton of warranties. So today, we are going to ask her uh, some questions about them. Miranda, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your company and how long you've been doing home warranty. Thank you so much for having me. So yes, my name is Miranda Avalos. I am a rep in the San Fernando Valley and I service other areas like your area, Oxnard Ventura. Um, I've been with Home Guard for four years and I, I love what I do. Well, thank you for uh, joining us, Miranda. Tell us exactly in your words, what is a home warranty? So a home warranty, it's a policy that protects the buyers the first year from the purchase of their home. Um, we cover anything that's due to wear and tear, home warranty related. Um, that's basically what a home warranty is. It is totally different than a home insurance policy, correct? So we're completely different. So with home warranty, what we do, we cover anything that's due to wear and tear. So for example, um, the best way I can explain it is if there's a plumbing issue in the home, that will be home warranty related. We will go, we'll take care of the issue. If you have to break a wall, break ground, we will do it. However, we will not go back, repatch it. That will be your homeowner's insurance. So we don't fix All any right, so cosmetic. Any cosmetic will be covered through the homeowner's insurance. So if my, my house burns to the ground, I'm not calling my home warranty, right? I'm calling my home insurance policy. And if my if my dishwasher stops working, uh, that's when we're going to call a home warranty, correct? That is correct. Now, if your dishwasher stops working and there's water all over the place and it's damaged your floors, you're now going to call home warranty and homeowner's insurance. Oh, okay. I think we're going to fix the dishwasher um, and take care of the water issue and fix the flooring. We don't do that, but your homeowner's insurance will. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So when a buyer buys a property, do they automatically get a home warranty or do they need to purchase one separately? How does that work? It depends. It depends when they submit the offer. If they submit the offer and they ask for a home warranty, the seller will most likely give them the home warranty. Um, if they don't, they can purchase one on their own. So most of the offers that we write for the buyers, uh, we are going to write in there, uh, seller to purchase the buyer home, a one-year home warranty. So if I'm selling my home, do sellers also need to purchase a home warranty program? It's a great idea because you never know if something's going to break down due to wear and tear. So if you don't have a home warranty, you want to add seller's coverage to the property. That's what it's called. So it protects the seller during the listing period, and it works just like a home warranty. Um, we cover air conditioner, heaters, water heaters. Um, I've had water heaters covered during the listing period, during the selling of, of the home. So that's something that um, will be covered through the home warranty unexpectedly, and you don't have to worry about that cost. I had one property we were selling. Uh, we show up to the property, we go into the garage, and there's a pool in there. So the water heater had burst you know, while the property was on the market. And uh, luckily, we had a seller's policy, and um, the, the warranty came out and replaced the water heater. Now, of course, my client did have to pay a deductible. I think it was like $75 or something like that. Yeah, but what's the cost of uh, a new water heater plus installation? You know, that's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, right? Like five, dollars $700, just depending on, on how big. So in that instance, that seller policy really saved us. All right, so a home warranty, how, how much does it cost? Are they expensive? Is it going to break the bank? No, um, it's anywhere between $360 to $690, and that's for a home up to 5,000 square footage. Yeah, anything uh -huh. above that, we do modify, um, and it covers, you know, the water heater, the heater. Um, their appliances in the kitchen would be the stove, dishwasher and built-in microwave anything else aside of that we can add it for option coverage and booster costs 
So now when I'm writing an offer for the buyers, I usually write one in. If there's appliances included, then I'm going to ask for the appliances to be covered as well. And I think the policy for 13 months is like $720. And that's something that the seller typically pays for our buyers. Correct. So the prices have changed. They actually just increased um, to no, $700. No, no. <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> I'm going to check now. $780 for total protection mm -hmm. plan. Um, and it's a 12-month policy. Okay, so it's 12 months now for 708. And uh, how much is the seller's policy? So it's 92 cents per day for a townhome, condo, mobile home. Okay. Um, and it is $1.35 per day for a single family home. Right, right. I love it. I, 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 they really helped me out on, uh, on a lot of properties that I've been selling if something goes wrong during the, uh, during the escrow process. Now, let me ask you, is everything covered, Miranda, or like what? isn't covered and i know we spoke earlier about you know no cosmetic and like no damage where you know to the property where you'd be calling your home insurance but i know you do have some things that uh, that are covered is there like limits on what is covered so for example on the air conditioner home warranty doesn't cover any duct work so we don't cover the ducts in the ac but pretty much everything else we can cover um, with the pool, in the pool, if it's the best way to if the technician needs to dive into the pool to see what the problem is, it's not covered. They go in the, they do, they jump in the pools. Ah, that's real thorough. <laughs> that that would be interesting to witness. Yeah. So, so you guys are also cover pools and hot tubs. We yes, we do. Hmm? Nice. That's not, like that. that's also optional coverage. And so it's only for a year. Do you have like longer policies or what happens when the year is up? You just renew? We Yeah. So we have up to two years. They can purchase it for up to two years, 24 months. After the their coverage is over, they are more than welcome. Yeah. When I bought my first home, the air conditioning went out and it was like a heat wave. And, uh, you know, the warranty at that time was like 50 bucks or something like that. Um, sorry, not 50 bucks, like 350 bucks with like a $50 deductible. And uh, they replaced the they replaced the air conditioning. So I think it was like uh, a couple thousand bucks that uh, that I got taken care of for for a fifty dollar deductible. So uh, ever since that happened to me, I was always been a big advocate for these policies. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, home warranty it is very important, especially after the purchase of your home when you've spent thousands of dollars. So how does it work if, like, my stove breaks? Do you guys just come and fix it, or, or do you replace it? We send the technician out, and we leave it up to the technician. If the technician says it can be repaired, we repair it. If it's just old wear and tear and they cannot repair it, we replace it. Um, we either replace it for the same stuff that they currently have or the same cost. So, you know, what are some some common mistakes that uh, the buyers make or clients make when purchasing a home warranty? Um, purchasing the home warranty to cover something that's pre-existing. And how do you determine if it was pre-existing? I know we mentioned earlier that it wasn't on the home inspection. So when, when we're buying a property, we do a home inspection. I know sometimes we turn that home inspection into the home warranty company so that they can determine that it's not pre-existing but like what if you don't have a home inspection on file like we still send out the technician we go based on the technician's finding okay. so um if, it, if they say it's pre-existing and again if you're not happy with the results with what the technician has to say um and you feel that it was working then we can do a second opinion okay and and um, see if the findings are the same as the first technician, then we have to go with that. Yeah, because that is, that is always a concern. You know, I've had times where we just recently closed on a property and something, you know, something breaks within like the first month. And, uh, you know, I was like, uh-oh, are they going to cover it? Right? Right. So, so, so that's good to know that if the technician comes out and, you know, he's going to be the one to determine them. Yes. It's always up to the technician. And, and like you said, we can get our own technician. So you can always use someone that you got 
a relationship with, someone that you know that's going to do a good job, and then uh, you basically just need to pay. It's 85. So the deductible 85. has gone up to 85, yeah. And you can always lower the deductible by adding um, the trade call, which is $80 at the beginning of the policy, and that will lower it to $50. So it'll right. take you from 85 to 50 Right, and that's good that you brought that up. There's a lot of different options. I mean, there's like 30 more boxes that you can check when purchasing a home warranty, and you can get extra coverage in certain areas. Um, one of them that we like to do is, is the red tag, right? So if, the, if they, what happens if, if you get red tagged? So if your home gets red tagged, um, when you're ordering services, water and power, guest company, you just send me that red tag. And again, if it's being red tagged due to home warrants, it's related to home warranty. We will send out a technician and see what the problem is and get it fixed so that you can proceed with your um, utilities, your services. Love that. I love that. Well, getting a home warranty definitely makes sense. We highly, highly recommend it. You know, when you're buying a property, typically one year comes included. And it's always a good idea to, re uh, to renew it once it's uh, coming to an end. And you know, I always recommend keeping these for you know the entirety of the home. Yes, so. absolutely. All right, all right. Well, that's awesome. Thank you for all the great info, Miranda. Well, thank you for having me. When purchasing a home warranty, make sure that the company is in your state, not outside mm -hmm. of the state, and that there's a representative that you can contact and um, have a relationship with in the event you need to use it. In case there's a denial, someone that's gonna look out for your claim and fight and make sure that you're gonna be taken care of. Oh, or just to make it easier, just basically call you, right, right, Miranda? And so, if people want to call you, ask questions about a home warranty or or to purchase a home warranty, how do they get in touch with you? How do they go about that? So they can call me, eight one eight nine one seven eight seven five three. Um, or they can email me to mavalos at hghw.com. They can call me, email me, text me, and I'll be more than happy to help them and answer all their questions. Okay, Miranda, awesome. That was great. Thank you. You can get, you can get a hold of her. She's always available to answer your questions. Uh, please let us know in the comments. Do you have a home warranty? How do you like home warranties? I want to read some stories. What's like the craziest home warranty story that you got from me? We'd love to hear it. Uh, please, if you found value from this video, make sure to like, please subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel. Thank, thank you so much, Miranda. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. For the and I look forward to doing some more deals together. I'll be sending you some more home warranties here in the future. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for having me. All right. You enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.